and welcome everybody here in twitch chat and everybody on youtube for some trundle swain so it's our last deck today and it's going to be our first deck that doesn't have targon in it but we still have a brand new champion from the call of the mountain expansion we got trundle five mana four six with regeneration when i'm summoned create an ice pillar and uh whenever we get to play our ice pillar turn eight having eight mana it refills our mana and um yeah then we get to uh have a leveled up trumble that then has overwhelm so we got some pretty sweet threats up at the top end we got trundle swain of course i mean that's that's the name of our deck we got leviathan at bringing swain into play one captain farron to be another eight plus cost card because we do want to behold an eight plus cost card for our other threat here our six drop augur of the old ones that can grant our threats overwhelm and regeneration that can work great with swain giving swain overwhelm and regeneration is awesome so that's what we got that we, we're going to be trying that out um but yeah then besides besides that as far as the early turns we're not doing a whole lot we only have Sentry as our only card to play turn one or turn two but we can clean things up with avalanche avalanche is going to be a big part of the deck um and then avalanche helps turn on noxion guillotine ravenous flock all of that kind of stuff so let's get to it let's play five games oh i should have changed these up let's head on over to our frail yord board where's the frail yord board there it is getting icy and we'll go with the minion and we'll go with the not the swain card back i guess we'll go with the noxion card back um we'll have swain hang out Get some of our new emotes. I haven't been using these new emotes yet. We need to use these new emotes. Sorry, Swain. Actually, we're going to just use new ones that I need to use more of. All right. Let's go play five games over in Ranked. We'll see how we do. Need to, need to use the new emotes more. All right. Yasuo plus Leona. Leona, of course, can stun enemies whenever... Daybreak happens. Uh, thing is, is neither of those champions die from Avalanche. They, neither of them die from Culling Strike. Leviathan is very expensive. Hmm. We only have two Noxion Fervors in here because we're not playing a bunch of units, but it's a way to level up Swain super fast sunlight guide you my brethren We got Trundle. Follow the wind, but watch your back. Noxion Fervor is pretty, pretty risky. What can they have for three mana? Because there's the two mana stun, but that is. What can they have with three mana that kills my. Arachnoid Sentry. I'm not sure. Blade never gets any lighter. They can have like twin disciplines. I don't know if there's anything that's stun or recall. On this. Uh. Heal your heal an ally two and draw a card. Gross. Yeah, didn't think about that. That's the thing about new cards, you know, you kinda have to experience them 
Also, now in the back of my mind, I'll have that. So, you know, we need to do both of my spells at the same time and not one and then the other. Sure. So this is just going to be low out city, it looks like. Yeah, the Lulu Tariq deck was, was or Tarek, sorry. The Lulu Tarek deck was pretty sweet. Um, the couple of games we struggled with were games where our opponents actually went under us. Um, but I did really like that deck. That was a fun one to play. Will no one listen? That's what I'm saying. Alright, hopefully we want... Hopefully the old ones do pretty good. It is said that very few trolls are taught the chance of the old ones, and that those who know them can call on their forebears to the imbue tales, their brethren with exceptional strength. It is said. Where are you at, Swain? Nine? Yes, the YouTube VOD of that one will be up in three hours. We will be able to play Leviathan next turn. It's already the third Daybreak card. Oh, right, the removal spell. Okay. Leona does die to Culling Strike. Well, I guess not. Never mind. There's no, there's no room for me to respond here. I don't believe. Bask in her radiant blessing. I guess I should have kept Culling Strike before. Destination in sight. Bring these lands to their knees. Oh yeah, y'all are right. I should go on Ice Pillar first. Y'all are right. I should go on Ice Ice Pillar first. One purpose. Don't summon your own speed. Indecision is the first of many So I only take an addition. So I take two less damage from that exchange. Which is good. Do not have a trundle in play currently to benefit from Ice Pillar. Sleep is for the guilt. Artillery 
like how Ice Pillar can attack, and so like Ice Pillar can. Like it's weird that you can attack with Ice Pillar, I think, but you can play it and um, challenge the strongest enemy with it. Got yeah, lots of cards and lots of mana. So I want to play Fervor. I could just kill the Blade Twirler. I could do three damage to them, stun Leona, and then go sentry plus ravenous flock to try to take down Yasuo, and then have my Swain get through. That's not good chances that all that happens. Not good chances that all that happens at all. I'm gonna try to just kill this Blade Twirler. Zoggers just haven't been something that um, have been better than other things that I had the ability to play. They have to be thinking about Ravenous Flock with this attack, but I guess not. They're not that worried about Ravenous Flock, I guess. I was hoping they'd be more worried about Ravenous Flock with it being a champion spell. So Babbling Bjerg is going to be drawing either Leviathan or. Start with Augur. Give Swain regeneration. Get that health back up there. Hmm. That's a tough one, pal. Or Captain Farron. So we had two Leviathans, one Captain Farron. Don't let the blood on one of those. Why would you not just challenge the 08? What are you doing? Enough! I'll end this! 
Almost certainly Captain Farron gets stunned by Leona, but there's just not a better play. These augurs just being 5-5s. Five That's fives. pretty rough. Need to be larger. And in charger. A blade forged with blessed sunlight. Underestimate. I dare you. Protect our people. Here's our chance. So the big thing about this game is that Augur the Old Ones look quite poor. We have 12 Nexus damage. They are at 13. Sounds about right. Yep. We rise. So it's 18 Overwhelm. Now who's got the upper hand? Like that. Oh, 22 Overwhelm. Blade Twirler, Sun Guardian. Uh, yeah, this game. All right, we're, we're testing out new cards. So far, one game in, Augur looked unplayable, but we're, we're testing out new cards. It's just one game. It could be better than that. It's probably not a card that you want all three of like that. Maybe if I would have played Augur earlier instead of something else, maybe on the Swain, maybe we protect the Swain by giving the Swain the regeneration. Maybe, so maybe that's my bad. Maybe. All right, we'll take this. I wish this thing was larger. They forced us to five five. It's just kind of, I don't know, for six mana. Not sure about five five size. Yeah, that's also true. Like, because we we basically have Swain as like the only good card for Augur, right? Like, there's. And so having three of them, it's just like there's there's nothing to, to target with Augur. Like it Night. it was worse than like Avaros and Hearthguard would have been in that specific game. This is gonna be a lot of damage. No more hiding. Playing against a looks like a day and night deck, or really just a nightfall deck that's using Solari Soldier to help turn on Nightfall. Smart. I can't really risk passing the turn and then they just take their turn back and I waste all that mana and everything. I can't really risk that. I can't. I can't pass because if, like, I know if, if I'm on the other side of the table and my opponent just passes here and I have my three mana that will just turn into spell mana and I can just go straight to attack and attack them again for six when they're at 13, I'm just going to the next turn and attacking for six again. And so I can't, I can't risk for passing first we were peaceful once unseen unheard. would have loved to you know would have loved to get those things with avalanche as well but can't risk it Temperamental as moonlight. 
Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish, Moon Sister. So if I play Babbling Bjerg, I only get to block one of these. Going with both the Death's Hands, that's six total damage. That does level up Swain. Next turn we can play Swain that is leveled up. Um, there, okay, it is, I was going to say it is possible they protect Diana, but I think we still have to uh, do both of those immediately. What's up, Blue Nux? Thanks for stopping by. Glad to have you here. Alright, level up Swain. Go help us win the game. Indecision is the first of many weaknesses. Yeah, they they indecisive. Drain. So I had witness strength. I mean basically we can so we can kill their 3-2 to deal uh three damage to my own Swain, you know, or it can pass. I think it's just gotta be an attack. Stop draining. Whoa, blue nux with the resub. And I got a cool little Hyper Tiger emote now. Thank you so much, Blue Nux. By the moon's crescent blade. It's gotta level up Diana, right? Yeah. Tried to blind me with That's a cool level up right there. Could not break me. So they got a Doom Beast and a Dusk Petal Dust. I'm hoping they go the Dust Pile Dust Doom Beast pre combat, which would make sense for them. Uh, to be able to give Diana a challenger and make Diana a 4 3. Cool, so we will be stunning. Now, this is me going down to 5. Uh, with 2 from the Doom Beast, 2 from the Shade Stalker. Um, I guess that means that I have to block the Doom Beast with Swain also to stay at 5. But definitely don't want to go to 2. Obviously, my 3 2 is going to block the 4 1. But Swain will be able to strike them and get rid of the Shade Stalker. We're gonna try out this Augur of the Old Ones giving Swain regeneration. Now we just play this Augur. I strike them first before they play something that can block Swain. Pretty nice, getting back to a 4-7. And now we'll be able to play our Leviathan. I like this Culling Strike, that's a good one too. Order, sir, bring forth our army. I can just let that hit me. I 
I also don't need you. All right, Trundle Swain, one and one. That game works pretty good. Avalanche was huge, being a nice three for one for us and leveling up that Swain. Um, you know, getting turn three Avalanche, turn four double uh, removal spell. And so we killed five things by turn four. And then turn five leveled up Swain. It was still close. And a really aggressive hand. But we ended up getting there. Jeez. All right, what we got? We'll keep Death's Hand and Culling Strike. Cool, I like that Avalanche. We haven't had an Avarosan Sentry for turn two yet. Even with our Mulligans. Whoops. These jewels are more than mere trinkets. Why is everybody playing this card? Card doesn't seem very playable. Be brave. They don't play anything. That's fine. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. Hmm. Going strike. No. Pale Cascade. All right, that was a good one. Yeah, the expansion looks real powerful, especially Invoke. I'd say I've been very impressed with Invoke so far. It has looked real, very powerful. I'll take a hit for seven. Build Avalanche again next turn. Or make it a hit for two in Death's Hand. Let's so make it a hit for two. So yeah, invoke uh, invoke with the celestials has been really powerful. Um, Targon has just been a a card factory of just you get you just gener every everything just generates more cards kind of thing. It has seemed pretty strong. Strength and grace. Play. Avalanche is awesome. All right, that'll be leveled up Swain. Could use Ravenous Flock to kill either of those. Oh, wait. Have some patience. Can't bite on an empty stomach. I can see them going with like a barrier. I kind of like I like saving the death hand for Swain for the the stun part. But the, the real reason why I went with that card instead of Death Sand was that I wanted to be able to cast Swain as well, where if I play the 3-mana card, I don't get to cast Swain this turn. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. I became a soldier. A little luck for those who need it. They say these were from the Protector himself. All right, stun. Change or perish. 
Attack. This is not the way. That is not great. Not great at all. I demand satisfaction. Fair. So basically, I wanted the sentry to block. I guess I don't need to try to death hand and noxion fervor to try to to try to kill this. Um, protege, because we could just draw another swain with the leviathan. So we'll just go with this. We'll see what they have as far as spells go. Okay. Yeah, we can get a new Swain. Destination in sight. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to play around the new cards. That's that's what you just gotta do though. You just gotta, you know, play and kinda see with the new cards what you know like learn your lessons and everything. This guiding touch really got me earlier against the Yasuo deck. Got your back. Will no one listen? Oh wait. Game. Still stuns that. Alright. I was just gonna pass turn and then I was like, wait, what am I doing? We don't need to pass turn. Alright, a good win, Trundle Swain. Two and one. Play some new champions, get that XP. All right, another Nightfall deck. Nocturne and Diana. Guillotine's gone. I think I'm gonna mulligan Swain. Keeping these two. Ooh, Averroes and Sentry. We're gonna play something on turn two. Night flowers Unless we draw Avalanche. This is going to be our first time playing something on turn two. Yeah, that... Raise your weapon, Sunwood. That is true. That 5-3 overwhelm for three mana is pretty scary. So I'm scared of... like Okay, so if I play Averroes and Sentry, they could have the... The 4-1 Fearsome. That is also kind of scary. I guess I still play this. I think it's better than holding up Death's Hand. Okay, cool. Hmm. I don't know about all these Augur of the Old Ways. I'm glad I mulliganed Swain. If I would have kept it and think we would have drawn all five of these after keeping it, that would have been rough. <laughs> Unhelpful Yoda. Had to, had to give them the 5 3 overwhelm. <laughs> no, that card is scary. There you are, Avalanche, after I play my 3-2. Not where you're supposed to be. 
I hope they don't have Pell Cascade, the plus two, plus one. They may want to save that Pell Cascade for the Crescent Guardian. Because basically, doing this is kind of a check to see if they do have Pell Cascade or not. Still think I block here. That puts me to five. If I block here, we go to seven. Uh, it's a pretty nice turn four. Now if I turn four, that's pretty nice. Um, These are let's go Trundle, because then by playing Trundle, we'll have the Trundle, Trundle champion spell of the Ice Quake. Then we will have eight mana next turn. We were peaceful once. So if they play stuff uh, pre-combat next turn... We get Ice Quake. That's an auto level up for Swain. Pale Cascade does counter my Culling Strike on that thing. I, I just hope they don't have another Pale Cascade, basically. Punish transgressions. They look angry. Good. Don't have another one. We will be free. Loyalty through conquest. Right, I guess I'm dead. That was five three overwhelms. Getting multiple copies of those. That was pretty scary. Perfect against my avalanche plan. All right, two and two. This is not the end. That three two, we have lost a, f a few games to that three two draining us. Lost a few games there. It's kind of matchup where we got to be fast, but we, our deck doesn't really have the ability to be fast, also. Um, so we'll just kind of see. I mean, I guess they do play a whole bunch of, like, little 1-2s and 2-1s that invoke, and maybe Avalanche is good against that. I would I would not say Nightfall's the new Endure. It, I would say it's day one where everybody's trying new cards, and so it's just going to be played a lot right now. But I wouldn't just say that it's the new Endure. Safeguard our homes. I want to do Sentry stun this thing. Meh. Even to their young bloods, we are nothing. Guess we'll stun that thing. <laughs> yeah. Common wild cards are pretty useless. I would I would always recommend if you have any any chance of using the common wild cards to use them. Immediately. The prophecies ring true. They are uh, not very useful. Oh, right, that thing has fury, so it grows. Hmm. Dead. 
I was thinking, you know, like they would challenge my 3 2, then I would avalanche afterwards. Quick rose. The skies darken with their approach. Do you want to just kill these dragons? So after all this, we'll have the same amount of cards. They have a bunch more mana. Seems like I could be doing better than this. need to get rid of these Herald of Dragons. Or they just play another 5 drop here with 3 extra mana. So I decided to use Ravenous Flock instead of Noxion Fervor, even though I only have Swain to Noxion Fervor for myself. But keeping Noxion Fervor helps out Noxion Guillotine more than what Ravenous Flock would. Yeah, remember when Karina Control was considered a slow deck with a decisive endgame? Those are the days. Yeah, no, no chance against these powerful Celestials. So I can do three extra damage with Fury of the North, put them down to six. Maybe they don't attack yet. I'm gonna try to get more damage in. I know this is greedy against like six mana obliterate. But I feel like I feel like we're not winning through a few more turns, and I feel like we need to get as much damage as possible in. I just hope, really hope they don't have six mana obliterate. Merely pawn in a greater game. The traveler got was from the priestess. Four one overwhelm. Come on. Yeah, I'm just I'm I'm going really aggressive. These lines, you know, maybe it'll it may pay out, may not pay out. Play out, I mean. So very aggressive. Turns out that 4-1 Celestial was pretty good. Pretty good. Witness glory.
in there at 11. Yeah, I kind of agree with y'all in chat of saying that the spell shield just staying on forever is not desirable. Not a big fan of that. Free of the Norse better at getting damage in at them, but... Yeah, single combat's still great. So, so, so Fear of the Norse better at getting damage in against them, um, but... This helps me cast Death's Hand again, because Fear of the North costing the four mana. Oh, right. Guillotine. We wouldn't get Guillotine back. I took the super aggressive line there with the Swain to try to win, and the they had the, the answer in the single combat. You rang. One of um, the game. They're out there. I'll spot them. Admire me. Uh, yeah, the expansion looks. I mean, so far it looks very dependent on like the the invoke stuff looks amazing so far just very early returns There just isn't any options. Uh, we can play this, but th this game's over. I'll, I'll just play it out so we can see some of the new cards, but we could concede right now. Because this game is over. If I try to, like, even Noxion Fervor... Obviously, we can't Noxion Fervor that with the Spell Shield, but even if we try to Fervor them and, and stun this thing... As you can tell, this one is pretty over. Look, up there! <laughs> Ashes and stardust. If only Fear of the North still did plus four, plus four. I mean, Noxian Guillotine is just so difficult to pull off because of Spell Shield. It's like, it's so hard to do Noxian Guillotine because with those things with Spell Shield, like, how do you. Like, the Avalanche doesn't deal damage to them, so you gotta figure out something else to do damage to them, and then you got to Guillotine. Oh, it's so tough. Um, Alright, so yeah, so first. First thought, you know, so that's our first time playing Trundle. Um, I don't know, was, you know, was not impressed with Augur. Swain with the Leviathan, of course, is still awesome, but we didn't really, we weren't really a Trundle deck. We didn't really get to do anything with Trundle. 
a lot of these other cards just kind of look i don't know they're just, they're just not as powerful as like this invoke stuff <laughs> right uh the invoke stuff is super super powerful so unless we can have swain and leviathan um yeah it's gonna it's difficult to outgrind that but i mean that's that's what you have to set up like you have to set up like for that matchup we have to set up leviathan plus swain that's kind of our only option. But Augur was too small. Even Trundle looked a little small with how big these Celestial things are. Because this is a really slow deck. The deck that we're playing. And having a slow deck against Celestials, I think that's our that's your only option is Leviathan, Swain. Or get, get super aggressive with Swain. Like we were going to do if they didn't have um, all the stuff they had. Um... All right, but there we go. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, we got other ideas for Trundle, other things that you want to see Trundle with, any any other champions to pair Trundle with, leave those comments, let me know. Um, and, you know, we'll continue to try out some more cool Trundle stuff. But anyway, that's it here for Trundle Swain. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.